Good afternoon, Fantasy Bay. Mike Williams here with another Week 9 game preview. Today, we're going to be going over the Titans versus the Panthers. Let's get it started. So, we're going to go with um, the over-under at 41.5, and, and the spread is negative 3 Panthers. Well, negative 3.5 Panthers, sorry. All right, we're going to start off with Ryan Tannehill. These last two games, he's been playing great. 22 points, 25 points, 300 yards, 200 yards, basically. Two touchdowns, three touchdowns. Very solid. He's going against Carolina, who is pretty decent against the quarterback. Uh, they're, ranking set, they're ranked eighth against the quarterback, only allowing 15 fantasy points a game. They, um, they're pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. And, uh, man, they're sacking the quarterback left and right so watch out for ryan Tannehill being under attack all game long Corey davis man that was really disappointing a lot of people were really rooting for Corey davis this week he did have six targets but he only had two receptions for two points man that's a bummer uh he's at best a wide receiver three and that's middle to low tier wide receiver three. Same with A.J. Brown. <clears throat> A.J. Brown only had three targets, though. That's absolutely terrible. I'm not trying to play him if I don't have to. Derrick Henry. Not a good game last game, but still, he's averaging like, you know, he's actually only averaging like 10 points in the last four games. 13-3, 17-7. It's really meh. Oh, he's not really involved in the passing game at all. One target for one catch. He had 16 attempts for 75 yards. It's not terrible. He's going to need a touchdown if he's going to be that inefficient, though. So here's my thing. You're starting Derrick Henry. I think it's a middle-of-the-pack play. Uh, they rank – not they. <laughs> the Carolina Panthers rank 16th uh, against the running back, allowing 18.7 fantasy points a game. I think you could, you're could. you going to start Derrick Henry. So why am I even talking about him? Deion Lewis. I'm not starting him. <laughs> I think that Greg Olson is an okay play. He is in low end, middle to low end, tight end one. And I am not trying to start the Titans defense, but I think that they will be okay. Christian McCaffrey just runs all over everyone and their mother because he's a beast. Uh, Kyle Allen, I'm not trying to start. He looked like a deer in headlights last week against the 49ers defense, but the 49ers defense has proven that they are beastly. Um, DJ Moore and Curtis Samuels. I am not trying to start either of them. I have them outside of my top 25. Um, if you have to start somebody, sure, you can start one of them in your flex position, but I'm not trying to start either of them. Christian McCaffrey, he's a beast. He's a monster. What can you ask? What more can you ask for him? He is averaging twenty four point three fantasy points per game on the year. That's the best out of all the running backs. I have him at damn near the top spot. He's either my one or my two. I'm actually still deciding, but right now he's sneaking towards the one. He had twenty six fantasy points last week in a meh game for him. He had 14 rushes for 117 yards and a touchdown, and he had 30, 38 yards off of four receptions on, and five targets. He's going to stay involved. He is the centerpiece of their offense. I shouldn't need to go into this anymore because everyone who has him is starting him, obviously. Um, why did I say Greg Olson? <laughs> I said Greg Olson when I was talking about the Titans, and I don't know why exactly. Greg Olson plays for the Panthers, so take all that analysis and put it here. I'll go back over to the Titans, tight end. We're going to go with Delaney Walker if he plays. He's a fringe starter. Joe New Smith, if Delaney Walker doesn't play, is a good start. There you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, and I actually think the Panthers' defense is a very solid start against the Titans. I think that they're going to get to the quarterback a very decent amount of times, and I think that they're going to get a couple picks. So that's going to wrap it up, Fantasy Bay. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the rest of my videos. And Mike Williams, Fantasy Bay, I'm out.